In this how to we are going to learn that how to add a custom button with custom command name and perform an operation. The, there is a typo here so I will correct it later on. Now uh, this is basically useful when you want to uh, perform some custom operation based on the click of the button. Till now uh, we were able to perform uh, update, uh, edit and delete operation in the grid view. But what we, if we want to perform some custom operation, for example you want to archive certain record uh, that will be uh, clicked uh, by, by, the, by the user. So for that purpose what you can do is that you can provide a separate column with archive uh, text and uh, on the click of that uh, 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 button uh, you, you can perform some operations in the database. So let me show you the, uh, in the example that will uh, uh, clarify everything here. So for that what we have done is that we are going to create one grid view and in this grid view you can see that I have one uh, one, one event uh, and my event name is on row command and when on row command event will fire then we are basically executing fire row command server side method and my data key names is auto id as explained in the last video. Now here the first column is mark as delete. Now, the, now this mark as delete is different than the delete button because delete button will uh, basically execute uh, on row deleting uh, service uh, on row deleting event but this will not because its command name is different its command name is not a delete but its command name is mark as deleted and in the same way uh, we have another uh, column whose uh, whose whose button link button command name is mark uh, as archived so uh, when this button will be clicked then what will happen is that on a row command event will fire and in this event because we have a special of fire row command uh, methods so let me uh, completely uh, copy paste the server side uh, uh, so here is my server side method now let me start and completely copy paste and then I am going to uh, explain them here so okay and then this okay we are done and yes now let me just align them so that it will look nice yes method first we have a underscore const variable that we are getting from the web config file and then uh, if the pages will be loaded for the first time then we are uh, calling the get data method and this get data method basically use edu.net code to populate the data into the data table and that data table is being specified as the data source of the grid view and then uh, we are calling data bind method that will actually bind the data to the grid view now uh, when uh, these buttons will be clicked uh, um, mark as deleted and mark as archived then naturally on row command event will fire and in this event what we have done is that we have first retrieved the command name of those buttons so here the command name of this this button is mark as deleted and the command name of the second button is mark as archived and then we are also getting the command argument command argument is nothing but the auto id means the value of the auto id column for that particular record so we are getting the auto id here because in the command arguments we have specified the eval of auto id so this will basically give you the value of the auto id column and then based on the command name we have so for example here we have mark as deleted so based on the command name we have we have used the switch statement and uh, if the command is mark as deleted then we can perform certain operation here and if the command is archived then you can perform certain operation here for example here you can call some business access layer method that will basically archive this record and here you can call some business access layer method that, that will basically mark that record as deleted here I have just written some text so that you know you will you will know that okay uh, mark as deleted is uh, is coming into this particular bug and executing this particular code so let me run this page and show you how it is working I have all the records coming in apart from these two fields these two fields because I have not written auto generate column equal to false so automatically uh, columns is being, is being generated based on the uh, data source and these two columns are coming because I have written here as the template field.
explicitly now when i will click on mark as deleted you can see that mark as deleted for 7 button clicked is coming here because that's what we have written here and when we will click on mark as archived then mark as archived will come so this is the way to basically uh, add a button with custom command name and perform some specific operation in, on the grid view data.